What's up you guys? Welcome back to the garage. Another beautiful day out here in the Chicagoland area. As you guys can see, the car is facing now the other way. Um, before the hood was on this side, I went ahead, I pulled it out, I reversed, pulled back in before all this snow was down. And I noticed a bunch of little drips as I came up to the driveway, a bunch of little drips not this this is just water right here that that stain but a bunch of little drips all the way down the middle of the car and i could feel my brakes kind of spongy so i'm thinking that i might have some kind of a brake um brake line leak or something but i also went ahead and i looked in here and there's it doesn't look like anything like it's still in the same spot where it was so it kind of makes me wonder if something else is leaking that I don't know of. So right now, we don't know where that leak is coming from, but we are about to find out. I'm going to go ahead, um, back the car up a little bit, pull it forward just so you guys can see the little drips, and then we'll go from there. Another thing that I failed to mention is that it's been three days, and since those three days, the little dots have disappeared from the garage floor. So it kind of makes me believe like if it was like either like coolant or like gasoline or something. But I touched it and it was an oily substance. So let's just go ahead, do this test and we'll see if we jack up the car and crawl under there. on that beat going crazy okay so here's the little drips that i was telling you guys about there's one right here this one's a fresh one there's another one over here which already disappeared which makes no sense to me but let me go ahead and pull the car forward. So I found out what the drip is. We obviously can tell what that is. It's green. And then I was looking and it looks like the heater hose is actually leaking from down here, right where this clamp is, right here. Right here where I'm touching. Let me get this out of the way. Yeah, so right, where is it? Right here, that clamp right there, that's where it's leaking from. So I'm gonna have to remove that and replace it. So at least that takes care of that leak. Um, besides that leak, I believe that there's no other leaks. As you guys can see, that's from that. That's the same, same thing as that. Um, my brakes do feel spongy, so I might have to bleed all the brakes. But let's go ahead and throw this car back into the garage and start working on it. Okay, so I got the car back into the garage and I think I'm not going to worry about 
replacing that in this video. And as a matter of fact, I don't think I'm gonna make a video on replacing that heater hose. We're just gonna go ahead and skip that. For now, I will replace that later on when I go to the auto parts store later on today. But let's go ahead and continue this video and remove that front bumper and flip that inner cooler and see how that looks. Oh yeah, did I mention that my boy Sheldon from down the street came through with the fuel pump? I don't think I had mentioned that, but he also gave me the fuel pump. So this is all the stuff that he has given me. We got the white band with the sensor and everything. We got injectors, fuel pump. So, I mean, he, he wants to make some power out of the Civic, out of the four-door Civic. So I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna flip this intercooler and we are gonna try to get this car going sometime in the next 30 days. I'm hoping we get this car out on the street and we get a ripping. All the OG subscribers know that I built this Civic with the intentions of taking it across the border into Tijuana, Mexico uh, for doing some roll racing. By roll racing, I mean maybe like a 30, 40 dig all the way up to whatever speed. Either way, um, that's the reason why I went with the long gears and that's the reason for the bigger turbo. Make sure you guys are smashing that like button. That really helps the channel grow and it really puts the channel out there for other people to find it. So please hit that like button down below. Either way, enough talking. Let's remove that. I got everything disconnected. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this inner cooler upside down. And this is kind of what I was thinking of right here. Okay. Let me tell you guys what the plan is gonna be. Um, we are gonna go ahead and we are gonna run it like this upside down. The bumper will clear. The only issue is that I gotta get longer bolts that go through the top. Here's a bolt that, that I would use before that would drop down. So you guys can see, it's a little bit short. So I'm gonna have to get longer bolts. That's the first thing. After that, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna have to get a back door welded on, on this side. So we're gonna probably take some piping, like the, the old piping that was on here, we're gonna probably cut it here, and we're gonna use this as the back door on the other side, coming out that way, like that. And we're gonna get this side welded shut then the other thing is we are going to throw a 90 a coupler a 90 degree coupler that's going to go like this and then we're going to put a little pipe and we're going to throw another 90 that's going to connect to the turbo and that's going to definitely get rid of a lot of piping because before you guys remember it was coming out like this it had a turn here it had another turn there that's two it would go all the way across and then it would have a third turn going up into the turbo so we are definitely gonna remove a lot of that piping and then over here the plan is to run that piping like this come straight into a 90 so the only thing we're gonna be doing is notching the radiator core support we're gonna have to notch it on both sides and I believe on this side I'm actually gonna have to notch the little the frame on this side a little bit just to clear 
and we are gonna have to relocate this reservoir maybe over here so maybe cut the bottom down here and loosen this bolt and spin it so it sits like on this side instead but we'll figure all that out afterwards the main thing right now is to get those bolts and get this uh intercooler welded and then we'll go from there we'll start figuring out what we got to get and also i'm gonna have to order some couplings because i don't have any so we're gonna have to order some couplings so this is gonna be going on for a few days this video but this should be a pretty good video and showing you guys an update of what we're doing and like i said this will definitely help out the turbo I'm going to go ahead and call it a video here. I am going to go right now to AutoZone. I'm also going to go to Advance if I have to. And see if I can find those couplings from there. If not, I'm going to have to place an order from that. What I am going to get that I know that they will have is going to be that coolant hose that I, that I need. And I'm going to have to go to Ace Hardware to get longer bolts for the bracket. The bracket underneath, I was able to just fold it down a little bit and... The two brackets on each side are good. They will bolt right onto the to the original spots where they were. The only thing is those bolts. Besides that, yeah, I'm gonna get this video uploaded today, later on today, and I think uh, tomorrow we'll probably go ahead and install that stuff if I get my hands on it. Either way, I'm trying to do all these uh, daily uploads, trying to grow the channel. Please hit that like button. That really helps the channel a lot. It helps it grow. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Stay safe. Catch you guys later. This is Barbos Life. Pull up in the Civic, you know that thing is station. This is Barbos Life. Cause that rattle can't hit different This is Barbos Life Pull up in the Civic and you know that thing is stick shift This is Barbos Life Game look like it's dripping Cause that rattle can't hit different This Barbos Life, y'all Make sure they hit that subscribe button Make sure they hit that like button